So, next step is um, I'm going to show you how to build a full tower or building out of just this one particular module procedurally using Biofrist um, techniques. And, you know. So, let's start by adding it at the stage node. Um, as I want this to have uh, to coexist, so live in a, in a separate um, uh, structure over here. So I'm going to cut this, going to connect that to that, and then back to at stage. Okay. So next step, I'm going to add a new premium definition. This one here, going to call uh, pod underscore tower, which is what we are going to build right now and from here going to create a new children from the new children are going to create a point instancer oop, oop, oop. a point instancer node and for the points I'm going to be using a compound that I uh, has already pre-built by a colleague of mine say uh, Gijun Laforge and I'll explain uh, how that works in a little bit. And I use that to connect to my points. Um, now, next is to build the prototype definitions. So for that, I'm going to create another USD prim. And this one, I'm going to call it uh, just tower. Good. And from here, now I can start creating a reference definition. So this time around, uh, what I want to do, instead of using the USD that I might have exported before, I want to use a specific print path. So for the print path, let me bring this up here. What I want to use is this pod asset which is over here. So I'm going to just copy that and I'm going to input that into the value over here. So now you have seen, now that I've done this, so let me adjust my camera clip settings. Basically just created a full tower out of just that one particular module, um, which I can now not just say pretty much a radial count you can see here, uh, or the vertical count, not more or less, um, say, stories to that particular build. Now let's kind of dissect these construct points pretty quickly, how that works. So all this is doing here is finding out um, the distance between that first pop module and the origin. Then it's using, uh, putting them all into different arrays and adding a pi node in order to kind of figure out that this conference and pretty much adding a multiply. So then you can obviously start adding different amounts. So let's say if I set that to zero, I only have um, at the moment, it's actually, let me do just one. Uh, so you see and I'm going to set these to one. So now I have just one over here. So if I adjust the radial count to two, you see it goes right on the other side. That's because of it's finding out the, di the distance between this and here, and it's multiplying it, and it's just going in the other side. So say if I go three, six, and as you can see, it's just multiplied around that. So I'm gonna, I know this by a fact it's 27 sides, so I can complete a full um, tower over here. So last step, I'm going to show you how now I can create a full city out of this one particular building. Uh, and it goes the same way. Now let's inspect the outline as you can see I first created a pod asset then I created a pod tower as a separate group and now as another separate group I'm going to build the city so it's 
pretty much the same thing. We're going to do another add to stage, which is over here. I'm going to connect that to that, this to this. Okay. And let's, I guess, move it over here. Just go up. And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to create another prim definition. Or actually, I can create just a, a point instance. I go directly to a point instance here now. So I create these instances here. And okay, yeah, so for the points, I'm going to create a scatter, scatter points. I'm going to connect that to the points. And let's create pretty quickly a plane. So let's have a plane uh, as big as we can. Let's expand these again. This is a big city. OK. Let's pull the shape. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And now, if I right click and hold, bring that over here. Now I can simply connect that as my geometry. And for the uh, prototype definitions, I'm going to create a new USD prime. I'm going to do the same thing we did before. This uh, we're going to call it city. Um, we're going to create a reference definition. And then we're going to specify a prime path. Before we do, I'm going to take that amount from 1000, which is the default, to say just 10 just to start so we don't you know it's not too crazy over there and what we want to do now is the same thing just copy the pot tower that we created before and just gonna put it into the value here hit enter and you see now we have procedurally built you know kind of a city so we just pretty much just scatter across that plane which then can now be modified, you know, changed and whatever, because it's all built procedurally. Uh, we can change things like blue noise, we can add more buildings, we can have 20 buildings or as many as we can. And because this is all built procedurally, we can you know, still adjust. See the vertical come, maybe we want to have smaller ones or bigger ones, make it even bigger, like taller buildings. And yeah, I think you get the idea how you can build a full city um, procedurally with USD, Bifrost, Maya, and Arnold. Okay, so now that we are finished uh, assembling the scene procedurally with Bifrost, last step is just to save these uh, as USD uh, as a whole package. So there's a node called Save USD uh, Stage. All we need to do is connect that to there, and these to there. And now, uh, all I need to do is just first uh, go save where uh, go where I'm gonna f go and place it or find the place where I'm gonna save this. Um, this one's gonna call. Uh, it's gonna be called um, Matrix City EMV for environment save that and all I need to do now is save here save my file and we are good to go now as you might see it's been saved as relative path I can uncheck this now and I'm good to load it in a separate scene and let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to create a new scene I'm gonna save everything and now we can simply go and create a stage from file, CD environment. That is huge. Sorry. <laughs> Ten. There you 
go. Now we've successfully loaded all those buildings into a new scene. So next step is going to be then maybe bring in new layers where we can create um, maybe some passes for animation, uh, some passes for um, VFX, etc., so on and so forth.